Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, extract the audio from WebMs or more simply just convert WebMs into MP3s. I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways to do this because it's pretty easy. The first way I'm going to show you how to do this is using a conversion program. The one I'm going to be using is Format Factory. There are plenty of uh, other ones out there. That's just the one I'm going to be using. If you're not familiar with Format Factory, it's a handy program that lets you convert anything into anything really. I'll throw a link up in the video description if you want to grab it for yourself. So just uh, start the program. You're going to want to drag your file into it. And you're going to go down in this window, go to audio, and select mp3 or whatever the hell you want to convert it to. And say, okay, you don't really need to monkey around with the settings. And then just click start. And you're going to go Now I'm going to show you what happened here. This is the original WebM. Hopefully that was short enough. I'm not going to get slapped with a copyright violation. Now here's the audio. See, you just got the audio out of the WebM there. Don't know why anyone would want that, but you know, there are webms with songs and videos in them these days so that probably would have been a better example now I'm gonna show you the second way how to do this which is using VLC if you've already got VLC on your desktop and don't really feel like downloading anything else or on someone else's computer or whatever's going on you can uh, use VLC too so let's uh, fire it up you're gonna to wanna to go to media and convert slash save or control R you're gonna go over here and select add Navigate to wherever you got your file at. And then you're going to go down to the convert slash save button at the bottom. I'm going to go to uh, mp3, mp4. And uh, then like I said, there's there's additional settings here, but like but like with Format Factory, you don't you really don't need to mess around with them too much. I'm going to click uh, so save and then you're going to want to select a destination folder I'm going to select the desktop name the file start and then start and now we're done so, and see we got a we got another one from VLC right here so hopefully you found this video helpful if you like my videos please subscribe I'm going to be making more of them in the near future and thank you for watching